Hi Taurus, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guide tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this so far. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Can I get a yes, please? <laughs> we got some wealth around the corner. Your angels and guides are telling you this is not the time to throw in the towel. This is the time to be resilient and push through. You are about to be rewarded handsomely. Like right now, they're going to compensate you for all the good karma you have. You've done a lot of good things. Think of all the compliments you gave your coworkers. Think of all the times you held the door open for someone. Think of all the times that you wished something happiness upon someone. That didn't go unnoticed. I always tell people, I'm like, just because someone's not standing in, standing next to you, writing everything down that you do, doesn't mean someone's not standing next to you, writing down everything that you do. The universe sees all. And I promise you, the universe is a very, law of attraction has shown us, it doesn't really hand out participation ribbons. Like basically, the universe rewards you like a mirror for what you do. So all you have to do is understand that even though you can't see something, for example, like you can't see oxygen, it exists. You can't see gravity, it exists. You can't see text messages going before your eyes, but in the form of a frequency, they are. So the universe is watching everything. Now, the good news is it wants to reward you. Seven of pentacles, three of pentacles. It's telling you that through a third party, friend, family member, even a stranger that you beat, they are going to bring some sort of wealth into your life. They're going to teach you how to fish, for example teach you how to invest in stocks, teach you how to invest in uh, uh, real estate, teach you how to, you know, uh, accumulate wealth, you know, printing money out of thin air. Like literally, if I ever need money, I just day trade. I print money out of thin air. It took years of me learning how to do this, but it can be done. So there's going to be something that they are good at. They're going to see potential within you, and they're going to want to teach you and share this guidance with you. Now, the most important part during this time frame is that you're aware that all you have to do is make sure you are coachable during this time frame, right? They don't want anything from you. This mentor, they're not gonna be like, give me money and I'll teach you what to do. They already got money. What they wanna do is make sure they have your undivided attention. Make sure that you're fully aware. Make sure that you are coachable. You're there to listen, right? Then they will be able to help. Now, check this out. You got awakening, resilience, patience, friendship, inner child, and confidence. This is amazing. Right now, you have this beautiful energy within you that deep down inside is going to produce some sort of beautiful awakening. Now, this is going to give you the confidence that you need because confidence is nothing more than knowledge. That confidence is coming. The confidence to start a business, the confidence to ask someone on a date, the confidence to, you know, go join that gym membership, that yoga class, whatever it is you're looking for. But this energy is on the way. So they're letting you know right now that you are on the cusp of a transformation. You deserve this. You are the best and you're about to get what you're looking for. Now, during this time frame, you got the seven of cups. You also have the eight of ace of cups, which lets you know that there are multiple offerings coming your way when, when this new profound sense of confidence comes into your life. And these offerings are all desires that you wanted. And right now, by changing your thoughts that shape your tomorrows, visualizing, believing, receiving, you will get this. So I'll give you an example. What are your desires? This is so, so important. It, can't, it needs to be detailed, right? Imagine if you're a Hollywood scriptwriter. You wouldn't just say money or love. You'd be like, oh, you know, I, my desire is to make $20 million, you know, as an actress that, you know, specializes in animation. You know, I don't know, right? But you got to ask yourself, what are your desires? That's you visualizing. Believing is feeling as if it's already happened. Receiving is allowing the universe to give it to you. So it's a, it's a formula that works every single time. But what happens is people usually don't visualize it. They don't believe it could ever happen. And then they don't even allow the universe to give it to them because they're constantly asking, where is it? Why is it not here yet, right? So it's like, it's resistance. So right now your angels and guides are telling you to let go to receive. Now, very interesting. The moment we talk about let go to receive, I want you to look at both these cards. You have patience and resilience, right? They're telling you patience. Patience is a virtue, but patience really just, it, it's, it's everything, right? Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that 
Adversity introduces you to who you are. You went through a lot of adversity. You know what you want and what you don't want. Nothing was a waste of time. You collected data. So be patient and understand that the moment that there's a final lesson there, ask yourself, what are the lessons that I learned? And through all the things that you went in your, that went on in your life, your childhood, you did the people you've dated, the jobs that you've had, these are very unique to you, right? There's only one of you. You're more red than a Picasso painting. Think about that. There's one, you're one in a trillion, you could say, even more, right? Quadrillion. So think about that. You have a large, vast amount of experiences. Now, through those hardships that you've gone through, the adversity, what were the lessons? The person you dated that cheated on you, for example, what did you learn from that? What would you do different next time? What would you do the same? The job that you had that may have not been perfect, what, would you, what was the lesson there? Was it like, oh, oh, don't even commit to something that is not sustainable? Ask yourself, when you start looking at the uh, challenges in your life and ask yourself what the lessons were, they immediately turn into possibilities, right? And that's what your angels and guides want you to focus on. Because right now you do have the death card and you have the seven of wands. And this is letting you know that a chapter needs to close in your life and the chapter is waiting, right? Wanting, hoping, needing, all that needs to close. And instead, the chapter that needs to open is commanding, assuming, expecting. And when you change over, when you shift that, that, that energy over, that's when things start changing in your life. And right now, you got the two of wands, and you also have the two of swords, two twos, that's synchronicities. And if you take a look at the two of wands, what is she doing? She is in control. She knows exactly what she wants and how to get it. She is very confident in her next steps. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you, be confident in your next steps. Know that you have the universe to support you. Universe loves you and supports you. Wants to see you rich. Wants to see you with your soulmate. You're going to get all these things. But you got to understand that the person in life who wins is the person whose energy is the most likable and approachable because that's when opportunities come. And right now, being likable and approachable, all it really means is that you are that you are fully aware that your energy is like your business card. It introduces you before you speak. So making sure that nothing affects your energy. No thought. No food. No lack of sleep, no negative, you know, no, no negativity, nothing, right? Like for me, I choose the foods I eat based on how I feel tomorrow. Simple as pie. I choose the shows I watch based on how I feel tomorrow. I choose the people I have conversations with based on how my day is going to go tomorrow. If it's going to affect me in any negative way, it's not happening. If it's going to affect me in a positive way, we're good to go. And right now, your angels and guides through the inner child card are letting you know to really be silly, have fun, be joyful, be blissful, be, be passionate. And your inner child is letting you know right now to not be serious because serious is a, is a lower frequency. And right now you are trying to get downloads, insights, clarity, uh, uh, luck, fortune, all from the universe, from your angels and guides. And they're having a hard time getting through and that's because the signal's jammed. And right now the only reason the signal is jammed is because things are a little bit too serious. So you might be like in the middle of a transition, you might be waiting for something, that's causing lack, and lack does not carry the thought of abundance. So right now, they're telling you, don't be so serious, be silly, be playful, and then the downloads will come in, right? Once those synchronicities come, and once those floodgates open, it is crazy. All right, Taurus, now let's get some money and some love into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section, and as you write it down, breathe life into these words by feeling it. Feeling is the secret. That is how you quantum entangle with what is your birthright, which is abundance. So write down the following affirmation. My life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. Wow. This is you acknowledging that you are in love with the journey and process and not the outcome. My life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. This is you having fully, uh, fully uh, believing and having faith in the universe. My life is an experiment. I embrace the exploration. Let your angels and guides know that you are ready by writing this down in the comment section and giving this video a like. All right, Taurus, now final message from your spirit guides. Whoa, 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 this one came out, so this is it. Be true to yourself, look at that. Authentic, genuine energy right here. Right now the message is, you may not ever understand what's going on in their life, but you can always figure out what's going on in yours, right? So right now, just this is something us empaths have to work on. We're always people pleasing, making sure everyone else is okay. You're being told right now, focus on yourself, right? Focus on what makes you happy. A lot of times we're just trying to do things that we think we should be doing or other people want, but you gotta ask yourself, what do you really wanna do? What do you really wanna eat? What do you really wanna watch? What do you really wanna say? What do you really wanna do? Not, not only is life is short, but when you are your genuine, authentic self, that's when you're shining and that's when you're the most attractive, likable, and approachable. 
All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.